I use the one side mostly for um oh hey girl Hey guys welcome back to the channel as you can see it's another video and I wanted to make this one a quick one a light one uh, but I know that as women we love to know what other women have in their bags and this includes for me personally what they have in their makeup bag so I've got my everyday makeup like little sunglass holder thing which holds makeup stuff and my mini makeup bag so yeah if you would like to see what I go around carrying and lugging around in my bag my makeup bag then definitely do keep watching so before we get started this is my makeup bag I have featured this makeup bag in uh, a picture on my Instagram which I will attach right here uh, I purchased this from H&M one day I was going in looking for something in particular and then when I was paying I saw it right by that you know the Isle of Doom they call it the Isle of Doom where there's a whole bunch of stuff and it, the whole idea there is for you to pick something so I uh, saw this one there and I really liked it with the leaves and the palms and uh, it's written Palm, Palm Springs California which I'd like to go to California one day but who knows who knows but yeah for the most part this is what I carry it's quite small I mean in relation to my hand it is quite small I do not like carrying big heavy makeup bags anymore I used to I started out like that but I was just like mm -mm, I'm done I'm over it I'm trying to be as simplistic as possible go ahead scratch your face while you add it Gato. I'm trying to be as simplistic and easy and minimalist as possible and I'm trying to reduce the amount of makeup I carry with me on a daily basis so this is essentially the makeup bag that I carry and this is a it was a sunglass holder I think yeah it was for sunglasses but I ended up making it my lip product case so I carry all my lip products in here and I carry both these two in my uh, handbag so starting off with this one so this is pretty much how it looks on the inside I'll pull the items out one by one um, the first thing is the Rimmel stay matte powder I'm not going to talk much about this because you guys know I featured this powder on so many videos I love this powder this is what I touch up with throughout the day and then uh, next out is the Fenty Beauty um, Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in Mean Money and Hustler Baby. I've also spoken about this. You see, the thing is, I use things that I talk about a lot on the channel. There's much, a lot of makeup that I have, but I don't use as much. And I want to feature things on my channel that I use. So this is, I love it. I love it. I use the one side mostly for, um, oh, hey girl. Hey. I use the other side mostly for eyeshadow, but I use the um, Hustler Baby side for uh, a highlight. Really, really love this uh, from Fenty. And then next out is a Atelier Cologne uh, Orange Sanguine uh, perfume. And I featured this in a vlog of mine as well. I carry this in my bag as an everyday scent. If I'm moving from place to place and I want to just pss, pss, spritz up, you know, got, girl gotta smell good, <laughs> okay? okay yeah i love i love 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 that one uh, it's very fresh it's very citrusy as well it's one of the few citrusy products that i really really like uh, next out is a mascara the other day i went to work and i had forgotten to apply mascara on my face i looked in my makeup bag i asked uh uh which is so bad you should never do this i asked colleagues at work female colleagues do you have a mascara i was bare like my face was a tub mascara is everything so I immediately the same day when I got home I picked this one up from my makeup stash and I put it in my makeup bag because I don't want to ever have that problem again so this is the Maybelline Falsies push-up drama I like this mascara but I feel like too much product comes off of the mascara into and it sort of smudges the eye area so I always wipe it down first with a wipe and then apply it onto my eyelashes but I really really like it nevertheless I'm a big fan you can find this at Discam, clicks everywhere um, I've got of course a powder brush this is from BH cosmetics I like their brushes they're very soft however they shed quite a lot and that is a problem Wow and that is a problem for me but I I use it anyway you're not we're not gonna waste things here okay we're not we're just we're just not and then next out are um, uh, pencils basically um, I 
eye pencils basically these are lip pencils um, I've got one from Catrice this is the lip foundation pencil in uh, what's the shade I think the shade was actually on the lid but I don't remember it's a really really nice uh, brownie sort of mauve color and then I've got cherry from Mac for all the times that I wear ruby woo or Russian red or this one this lipstick which I'll show you which one this one is right now uh, and then half red which is a shade that I love to wear um, alone like just a lip liner shade uh, big fave that chestnut because hello a girl needs to go around carrying a brown lip liner okay and another brown uh, this is an eye pencil but I use it as a lip liner this is from Essence and it is in number two which is hot chocolate slightly darker than chestnut um, but it still works the way you would want it to work anyway oh here's the lid for the Catrice one this is cool brown and then last out of this bag is two MAC lipsticks one is Ruby Woo because <laughs> I love Ruby Woo. Uh, one is Ruby Woo and the other one is Hug Me which is a really really nice nude. Always have to go around carrying a nude and definitely always have to go around carrying a red. You never know where you might, you know, you never know where you might end up one night. <laughs> okay. So in this bag, this is pretty much what I carry. Small, quick, precise, to the point. You don't really need much, much else. Love that. Love that. And then in here is mostly lip products. So first one out is the Kat Von D. Uh, I think this is bow and arrow because I know I've got bow and arrow. Lolita and Lolita too, but this is yeah bow and arrow, which is one of my favorite nudes This is a proper proper nude like I have to apply a brown lip liner before using this Or else you can't just use it alone. It just looks like you're hungry Okay, you look ashy and hungry and go like no, it's, it's the recipe for disaster um, Next out is the next butter gloss in ginger snap. I featured this one again in my travel vlog uh, The staycation for around Christmas time really really love this one as well um, and then next out is the lip color that I've got on today and this is from L'Oreal color Riche matte uh, which is a 349 Paris cherry mm -hmm. I kind of felt like it looks very very close to Ruby Woo but it does have a bit of a cherry uh, sort of like berry color to it which is nice I really really I love these I have a nude one as well which I mentioned in my 2018 beauty favorites but I actually really really love these they're matte but they're not like retro mattes like uh, Mac really no they're matte but they got a little bit of a sheen to it as you can see right now right now and then next out is my dior um lip glow color reviver balm which i've spoken about as well quite a lot i love to use this just as a lip balm it's beautiful it's just beautiful oh my god it's pink it's beautiful oh my gosh hanya would have a field day with this she must never see that ever ever and then next out is my favorite uh nyx soft matte lip cream which is abu dhabi my favorite color this is my favorite color along with uh london and stockholm those are my three nude favorite colors from nyx uh, soft matte lip cream abu dhabi is another one that i love mm. girl gotta get ready like can you tell how much i love lip products here is the other colorish one that i was talking about this is erotic erotic uh, number 640 which is a really beautiful nude as you can see it's so 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 pretty and then lastly out is whirl I've got like maybe three or four whirls uh, because it's I consider whirl as my everyday color when I go to work I'll wear whirl make no mistake there's a whirl in my car there's a whirl in my bag and there's whirls scattered around this room so definitely love mac whirl it's beautiful thanks kylie jenner but we love you it's it's actually really a nice color it's such a nice color and that's pretty much it the bag is empty nothing much left but can you tell how much i'm a lip holder like I cannot buy anything else but lip products I'm about. Okay, that's pretty much it. That is what I carry in my makeup stuff that sits in my um, bag, my handbag. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go now. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Tell me what you put in your makeup bag. I'd love to know. Um, until the next one, I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.